NASA is often criticized for wasting billions of dollars on unimportant projects, and maybe these criticisms are fair. But the organization might now be on the brink of producing something revolutionary. Researchers at NASA are working on a novel solid-state battery that has enough energy to power an electric airplane. This battery is said to have twice the energy density of today's lithium-ion batteries, weighs 40% less, and doesn't use nickel, cobalt, or manganese. Now, if this is true, it has the potential to significantly change the electric vehicle industry. So how does this new battery work, and what does it mean for the EV industry? Join us as we explain everything NASA has just confirmed about their new solid-state battery that defies physics. Before we get into the details of this announcement, it's important to know exactly what a solid-state battery is. A solid-state battery is a battery that does not use liquid electrolytes. Instead, it uses solid materials that allow for a higher energy density and longer lifespan. Unlike conventional batteries, they do not contain liquids that can cause overheating, fire, or loss of charge over time. This makes them ideal for electric vehicles since they can store more energy and last longer than traditional batteries. NASA is making advancements in solid-state battery designs that can give higher energy discharge while significantly lowering the casing weight. The agency has been involved in a program known as SABERS, focused on solid-state battery architecture, revealing that batteries like these can offer much better energy storage and performance than lithium-ion cells. According to NASA, the initiative was motivated by the necessity to create a brand new battery that was adapted to meet the performance requirements of an electric aircraft. This entails obtaining noticeably more energy without capacity loss and, most importantly, without the fire concerns connected with lithium-ion batteries. Battery performance is critical in the development of both electric cars and electric aircraft. Although the energy used to propel them is different, the batteries which hold the energy will be the same. When these advancements are used in the electric vehicle industry, they will be a total game-changer. As the battery is always the heaviest component of any electric vehicle, reducing the weight will significantly increase the range and speed while eliminating any fire risk. For years, people have said that it isn't physically possible to power a commercial aircraft with electricity. A crucial necessity in aviation is that these batteries must effectively store the enormous amount of energy needed to power an aircraft while still being lightweight. However, the battery's capacity to store energy is only one aspect of the equation. To power massive electronics, like an electric aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicle, a battery must also be able to discharge this energy at a sufficient rate. Or, to put it another way, you could think of a battery as a bucket. The capacity or energy of the battery is how much the bucket can hold, while the power of a battery refers to how quickly the bucket can be emptied. An electric aircraft requires a very fast rate of energy discharge or bucket emptying from the battery. To do this, Sabres has conducted research on cutting-edge novel materials that have not yet been utilized in batteries such as sulfur and selenium. These experiments have resulted in notable advancements in power discharge. The team successfully boosted their battery's discharge rate by a factor of 10 during the previous year and then by a further factor of 5. This has helped the researchers get close to their objective of powering a large aircraft. Those new materials led to additional design changes. The Sabres team recognized that solid-state architecture enabled them to modify the design and packaging of their battery to reduce weight and boost its energy storage capacity. To put it differently, a bigger bucket. The new battery pack being created by NASA researchers is lighter, safer, and performs better than batteries used in large electronics and vehicles today. NASA has been conducting research on solid-state batteries as part of its Convergent Aeronautics Solutions Project for Sustainable Aviation. Their initiative, which is a component of NASA's commitment to eco-sustainable aviation, aims to advance battery technology by examining the use of solid-state batteries in aviation applications, such as advanced air mobility and electric-propelled aircraft. The agency's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland serves as the focal point of NASA's Solid State Architecture Batteries for Enhanced Rechargeability and Safety Sabers, initiative, which also involves researchers from Georgia Tech, Argonne National Laboratory, and Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. After several years of testing in collaboration with universities, NASA has now disclosed that their solid state battery has achieved an astounding energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram which is double that of the average electric car and can even power electric aircraft. 
In comparison to the current liquid lithium-ion batteries found in the majority of electric vehicles today, NASA was able to discover a revolutionary packing method for solid-state cells that decreases the battery weight by 35% and doubles its energy density. For comparison, CATL's upcoming M3P phosphate packs for the normal range Model Y are rated at 160 watt-hours per kilogram, while Tesla's 4680 batteries in the Model Y have an energy density of under 300 watt-hours per kilogram. In the Sabres battery, all solid-state cells are stacked on top of the other inside a single casing rather than being packaged individually. This not only reduces the weight of the battery by 35%, but it also allows researchers to double or even triple the amount of energy it can store, far exceeding the capacities of lithium-ion batteries, which are currently regarded as state-of-the-art. Another essential requirement for the use of batteries in electric aircraft is safety. Solid-state batteries are more appealing for use in aviation because they do not catch fire when they malfunction and can still function when damaged, unlike liquid batteries. Researchers at Sabres showed that their battery can run in conditions that are almost twice as hot as lithium-ion batteries without the use of as much cooling gear, and the team is continuing to test it under even hotter conditions. The NASA team is investigating the solid-state battery's ability to continue operating at even higher pressures and temperatures, making it acceptable for use in aircraft. One significant advantage of solid-state technology is improved battery safety, as the recent destruction caused by Hurricane Ian showed. After all, putting out Teslas that caught fire during the floods and whose flaming battery packs were difficult to extinguish turned out to be a big new problem for the disaster recovery crews. Solid-state batteries don't contain liquids like industry-standard lithium-ion batteries do, which can result in undesirable circumstances like overheating, fires, and charge loss over time. These are problems that anyone who uses large electronics may be familiar with. NASA says the project has piqued the interest of another of its research efforts, the SUSAN program studying single-aft-engine hybrid electric concept aircraft. The subsonic single aft engine Susan Electrofan is an advanced hybrid electric concept aircraft developed by NASA intended to reduce environmental impact and introduce cutting edge technologies for sustainable subsonic regional transport aircraft. As aviation enters a new era, Susan aims to cut emissions by 50% over the next few decades with a net zero emission target as its ultimate objective. This aircraft design can increase fuel economy and decrease energy consumption through the use of alternative fuels while maintaining the speed, size, and range characteristics of big regional aircraft. Now, this objective seems very achievable all of a sudden because of the development of these solid-state batteries. Susan is a proposal for a 180-seat aircraft with a T-tail layout that is propelled by a 20-megawatt rear electrical propulsion system that also provides electricity for distributed assemblies of small wing-mounted engines. A 750 nautical mile economic range is proposed for this aircraft. Redundancy is provided by a single-use battery to generate power in the event of an engine failure. Although it's hard to know when solid-state batteries will actually be used in commercially produced electric vehicles, we know that when they do arrive, they will change the industry forever. Thank you very much for watching today. We'd truly appreciate it if you leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, and tech news.